First things first, good morning. So today's training session closed out week three for my body competition cycle. In this case, it was a grip stamina based day and I have been throwing these in for the last about five or six weeks and I love these sessions. Most of the implements I'm using come through Iron Mind uh, who do a lot of grip competitions. So you'll see in the video that I use the Rolling Thunder, which is a very thick diameter uh, single hand deadlift handle that also rolls as you go through, making it extremely challenging. My pinch grip uh, from Iron Mind and then all of my captains of Crush uh, Iron Mind grip closures that I have as well. Most of my straps that I use for my loading pins that I put plates on are from Spud Inc. Uh, for the two inch Olympic plate straps. But Today's training session began with a general warm-up utilizing the infinity rope, specifically focusing on getting my heart rate to 3.0 or higher, so zone 3 or higher. I uh, went immediately from that into doing mobility work for my radial ulnar joint, which controls supination and pronation, and then for wrist mobility as well. So I focused a lot on radial and ulnar deviation, flexion and extension to kind of get the wrist warmed up. That encompassed a lot of my dynamic warm-up as well. Went from that into, I didn't have a primary main set today, it was more of a circuit of a variety of grip-based exercises. So following uh, Mr. Core Tight on Instagram, who displayed a uh, chaos carry earlier this week with a kabuki strength trap bar, uh, which obviously is missing one side, makes it much easier to do that exercise. And instead of using that, because I don't have that tool, and just to change it up, I use an axle bar instead for the thicker diameter and without rotation in the sleeves of the barbell and uh, two 40 pound kettlebells on there in order to do both a supinated carry forward and then I did another pronated carry back to focus both of those mechanics. Um, along with that, I did other types of dynamic farmer carries whether with bands and kettlebells with actual farmer carry handles about 400 pounds um, with single arm deadlifts on the rolling thunder and single arm deadlifts with the pinch carry um, and then with other kind of radial and owner deviation things and close out everything at the end with a pinch carry of 45 pound plate because last week if you remember right I did the 25 pound plate and I felt that was too easy uh, went to the 45 significantly harder uh, 35 felt a little bit easier as well because I played around with it today I wish there was a little bit of a mid ground but I'll find a way to do it either way I hope you enjoyed today's training session and I hope all of you have not only had a fantastic week but I hope your weekend is even better thank you
Thank <laughs> you.